Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we'll be covering P-traps. Uh, P-traps can be kind of a pain in the butt, but there's a little trick that can really make them uh, friendly again. So let's go uh, have a talk with P-traps and see how we can make them cooperate. So here we go. Uh, in this plan, very simple, I've placed a wall-mounted lavatory. You see right here, straight out of Revit, nothing special. And uh, I'll go to a section. You'll notice that the connector is actually on the bottom of the actual fixture. What some people do is actually move the connector right to the wall here, and they'll draw a solid that, can, that, that takes care of this. Okay, That's one way of doing it. Another way is um, to tell Revit that you you know, want to make an adjustment. So, uh, And we're going to tell P-traps that they're not a multi-port object anymore, that they're an elbow, and it works out beautiful. Let's take a look. I'm going to right-click right here. This is uh, pretty much out of the box, right? draw pipe, I come down a certain distance, right, and I come straight over. Now, at this point, all is well, except we put an elbow in here. Now, that's all nice and pretty, but it's not right. So let's go make this fine. Let's adjust this up to something we can see easy. And I zoom in, and you'll see we have our uh, pipe here, and we have an elbow. So let's go load a P-trap. Now, P-traps are actually available inside of Revit out the box, so we'll go to Insert load family and we got to dig down pipe down in the bellies here we're going to go to fittings and then we'll go to PVC schedule 40 socket type drain waste vent and then if we start po poking through here you get over here you'll notice there's one there it is trap P okay and you might be looking for P trap but it's a trap P it's all good we open it up and we're thinking all right life is good so we're going to go change out that part so we grab that part of that uh, that elbow, and we drop it down, and notice, hey, where is it? It's nowhere to be found. So you're like, ah, did it load? Well, let's check it out. I hit escape. We're gonna go back up to systems. I'm gonna go hit pipe fitting. Pipe fitting. There it. Hey, there it is. So I roll over here, and you'll see it'll it'll snap to the end. So it snaps on. I'm not exactly sure how it snapped in. I just I'm just thinking. Wait a second. It's there why it isn't working. So here's the trick. Load it. Once you load it, highlight it. Now, I don't know if you've been in the families or edited families much in Revit, but this is going to be very simple, but it's going to make all the difference in the world. We highlight the P-trap. Now, you, wherever you want it, doesn't matter. So I highlight the trap. I go up top and I hit Edit Family. Now, currently, this guy, when he was coming in, he was set up as a multi-port. So come down here and you set up some multi-port component. And this actually tells Revit how to deal with the part, how to make it snap in. Well, multi-port, that yeah, might be nice, but it's not working for us. So what we're going to do is say, how about we say you are going to be just a fancy elbow. Now, it'll still show up that way, but we're going to say, but you're an elbow now. And at that point, we load it into the project, and we overwrite the existing version. Now watch how cool this is. Once we, once we tell it that it's an elbow, we can then grab right here. We drop this down. Look who's hanging out here. P-traps. Grab it. Bammo. There's your trap. So we, uh, we're, we can swap them out now. So whenever you're running something, let's say I come off of here and I need a P-trap. Okay, no worries. We go here, system, pipe. I'll just draw over here. One, two, Try to get it lined up. Three. And then you would you don't like the part, you grab him and go over here and guess who's available? Mr. P Trap. Pop him on in and move on with life. Uh it can use for floor drains, all that stuff. So the trick is go ahead and just uh swap his uh his part type out to elbow and you're good to go. Now if you really want to get fancy, you can take your pipe type. This is the final thing. See it says PVC pipe type. I'm going to hit edit type and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to say PVC with or PVC P trap. Okay, now I may use this very seldom, but what I have now is I have a system type with a PVC P trap. Routing preferences. We come down here, elbow. What I'm going to say is hey, elbow, use a trap. Now you can start to get pretty fancy here. You could say for certain sizes, so I can add, see how it says all sizes? I could say from, let's say, 
one inch to maybe inch and a half. So what that's going to do is say when I'm going between inch and inch and a half, it'll use that. That's getting real specific, but we'll just say, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, take that one out. I'm going to say all on these because when I switch over to P-trap piping, what it's going to do? It's going to use that setup. So we've created one. Let's go back, and you'll notice that it says when I use an elbow, I use a P-trap. So when I'm buzzing along quick, I can actually just go, all right, I know I'm coming off the bottom of a fixture, so let's take this out, delete, delete, all right, delete. So I'm, I know I'm coming off the bottom of this fixture, so what I do is I crank up, I start, right, click on this little button, but then I say, you know what, what pipe type I'm going to use. So I switch on over and I say I'm using a P-trap. I come down and I go over, and notice what it puts in there automatically. The reason that worked was because if you've been in one of my classes, we talk about the buckets. So in this pipe type, it it's, there's a P-trap in the bucket. So it uses that as in, in lieu of an elbow. So uh, that's how you put them in. It's an easy little trick, but the main thing you have to remember is you have to change the, the connection type of that, that object there. And you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Check us out on the web, cantechseminars.com. Thank you.